happy to announce that uh, our paper uh, comparing AxiCell and TisaCell has been accepted for publication in Nature Medicine and will be published this month. Uh, the, the study uh, is based on the Descart registry. Uh, we uh, uh, started from uh, 809 patients with the diffuse large B-cell lymphoma treated in third or more line of treatment with DLBCL, PMBCL, or transform uh, uh, indolent lymphoma. From this uh, uh, cohort of patients, uh, we uh, perform an extensive uh, matching using a well-defined method that is called uh, propensity score matching uh, to uh, come up with a, a two different group of patients with a similar characteristic based on 14 different uh, parameters. Uh, 209 patients treated with TISA cell compared to 209 patients treated with AXI cell. Uh, we had reported at the previous ASH meeting uh, at the end of last year uh, that uh, patients treated with AXI cell uh, experience a longer progression free survival compared uh, to with patients treated uh, with TISA cell. And uh, we performed an update of this uh, court of patients. And we now show that uh, patients treated with AxiCell experience a longer overall survival uh, compared with patients treated with TISA cell. The median overall survival for patients treated with TISA cell was uh, 11.2 months compared to a median overall survival that was not reached for patients treated with AxiCell. Regarding toxicity, uh, there was uh, almost no significant difference between TISA cell and AxiCell for grade 3 or more uh, uh, cytokine release syndrome with five to nine percent. And uh, however, uh, the, the, the higher efficacy of AxiCell came at the cost of a higher toxicity regarding neurotoxicity with 14% uh, of ICANS compared to 3% of ICANS with TISA cell. So uh, longer overall survival with this uh, uh, now updated data uh, but a higher toxicity. And that's what is reported in, in this paper that will be published in Nature Medicine.